inside portion of the actual virus. So your antibodies are probably better at that point than the vaccination. Nick Carl is an experienced biochemist at Pfizer with a history of working in the pharmaceutical industry. Nick admits to our undercover journalist that those who've had COVID have stronger immunity than those who've received the Pfizer COVID vaccine. When somebody is naturally um, immune, like they got COVID, um, they probably have better, like not better, but more antibodies against the virus. Because what the vaccine is, is like I said, that protein that's just on the outside. So it's just one antibody against one specific part of the virus. When you actually get the virus, you're going to start producing antibodies against like multiple pieces of the virus. And not only just like the outside portion, like the inside portion and the actual virus. So your antibodies are probably better at that point than the vaccination. But don't take his word for it. Two other Pfizer scientists echo the same sentiment. So I'm well protected? Yeah. Like as much as the vaccine? Probably more. How so? Like how much more? You're protected most likely for longer since it was a natural response. We're like bred and taught to be like, like vaccine is safer than, than actually getting COVID. You cannot like talk about this in public. If you have antibodies built up, like you should be able to prove that you have those built up. I mean, I still feel like I work for like an evil corporation. We're trying to keep track of everyone that's been vaccinated versus the census of how many people are actually reported. Basically, our organization is run on COVID money now. You don't talk about anything that can possibly implicate you or like big fight. Um, like even if you shut the door to the office, it's kind of like, who's listening? I specifically have like, oh God, I, I signed the NDAs against this. The government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of shit. It needs to be a registry of the people who aren't vaccinated. That's sounding very dirty. I'm gonna go door to door and stab everyone. Oh, it's just your booster shot. Don't get the doctor. She didn't want to take it because of her religious beliefs. She was coerced into taking it. They are not reported because they want to show it on the, the map. Oh, God. I, I signed the NDAs against this. So your antibodies are probably better at that point than the vaccination. Oh, oh. Not wearing a wire, right? <laughs> Our next installment in the series exposing Big Pharma will feature multiple releases inside one of the nation's largest COVID vaccine manufacturers, Pfizer. The series features not one, not two, but three scientists within Pfizer talking to one of our undercover journalists, making stunning admissions about the COVID vaccine and the culture inside of Pfizer. Like, we're like bred and taught to be like, like, vaccine is safer than, than actually getting COVID. And that's like, like, honestly, we have to, we have to do so many seminars on this. Like, you have no idea. Like, we have to like sit there for hours and hours and listen to like, be like, you cannot like talk about this in public. You know, logically though, like, if you have antibodies built up, like, you should be able to prove that you have those built up. Like, and just be like, I don't know, maybe but potentially that's, that doesn't seem that crazy. I had COVID and I okay. have monster immunity yeah. after eight months. So I just got checked last month yeah. for antibodies. I mean, that's no worries. Same thing with my brother. So should I get the vaccine? Wait. Until when? If your immunity starts to wane, then get vaccinated. So I'm well protected? Yeah. Like as much as the vaccine? Probably more. How so? Like how much more? I mean, so when we came out with, let's see. So right now we're seeing an increase in the Delta variant. Mostly not because of the variant, because of immune, or 
basically their antibodies are waning. Um, so they're, they're still protected, but not at that 95% efficacy. It's more like 70%. So you're being, you're protected most likely for longer since it was a natural response. Mm -hmm. So basically they're trying to keep track of everyone that's been vaccinated versus the census of how many people are actually reported. So I mean they're trying to get their numbers but still you shouldn't have to show anything which is basically in my opinion a, a violation of HIPAA. They, no one has the right to ask you if you've been vaccinated or so it's an invasion of privacy. I, I, I don't agree with it. So. Nick's take on these social mandates would seem to run contrary to his sentiment on antibody immunity. This isn't the first time we've heard this sentiment from a scientist with one of these companies. How do we get the unvaccinated vaccinated? I feel like what they're doing, like, for instance, like the city needs like vax cards and everything. It's just like about making it so inconvenient for like unvaccinated people to the, to the point where they're just like, F it, I'll get it. you know? What do you mean? Like, if you are restricting people that are unvaccinated from doing anything, and then, like, vaccinated people are allowed to do anything they want, eventually they, they're just going to be like, let me just get vaccinated. I mean, you have multiple companies that were basically given a crap ton of money to produce vaccines, and they're pushing them. So what happens to the monoclonal, monoclonal antibody treatments? Push to the side. Why? Money. It, it's disgusting. You're not wearing a wire, right? No. You want to check? I mean, I still feel like I work for like an evil corporation because it comes down to profits in the end. And I mean, I'm there to help people, not to make millions yeah. and millions of dollars so i mean that, that's the moral dilemma i would say billions and billions i'm trying to be <laughs> nice <laughs> no yes. i hear you i, I, hear you. I, I do mean, i mean I'll, I'll still give you a hard time about it basically our organization is run on covid money now how so by it netted like over 15 billion last year Chris Croce is a senior associate scientist with Pfizer. He goes on to explain a test that is currently taking place at Pfizer, not to determine the effectiveness, but to see if it is leading to heart attacks. I'm glad you didn't get any uh, myocarditis. Because yeah. that's a concern, right? Yeah. More so for younger people. Why? That's what we're looking into right now. Oh, cool. That, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're... During, we just sent like 3,000 patient samples mm -hmm. to get tested for like elevated troponin levels yeah. um, to see if it's vaccine based or so. What's it look we're, like? We're, I don't know. We're, we just sent that over this past week and the last batch will be sent over next week. All external testing. We'll see. Hopefully it's good. Well, no. I mean, if not, then my opinion, that might pull something from the market. If the scientists believe that the antibody works more effectively than the vaccines, it begs the question, what's with all the federal mandates, regardless of what the data says? There's ears and eyes everywhere. What do you mean? At Pfizer, like in the building. Uh -huh. So it's kind of just like, you don't talk about anything that can possibly implicate you or like, big pharma. Um, I, even if you shut the door to the office, it's kind of like, who's listening? These expressed views run contrary to the current public policy affecting millions of people. If you're on the inside of the pharmaceutical company, contact us at VeritasTips at ProtonMail.com and stay tuned. We have a hidden camera footage of executives at Pfizer. It's a Code yellow. Code yellow, I don't know what that means. Code yellow.